member of the FBI Joint Terror Task Force joining us on how this police response began and what's happening now. You listened to that press conference, Stephen. I know you listened to it as well with them talking about the crime scene itself. You have 20 victims deceased who they said most of them would stay inside the crime scene while they prosecuted it. They said every man with a badge in El Paso had showed up at that scene, but this is going to take days for them to piece together what has happened, all the more complicated because it's not just what happened, but preserving it for a trial that will be upcoming. Well, you're absolutely right. The police who responded uh, also uh, had to preserve the crime scene evidence, which is very important. Uh, at this hour, there are forensic analysis uh, taking place, uh, not only at the crime scene, but at the suspect's house. Uh, there's going to be an analysis of the suspect's uh, uh, social media networking, uh, cell phones, yeah. computers. So all this is taking place right now. But I've got to tell you, the first responders on that scene, the police, did an outstanding job in apprehending this individual uh, alive. And that was critically important because now that this person's alive, what's on that person's mind is a treasure chest of information they need. So there's a couple of things that the chief of police said at his press conference. He said that there was a nexus to a hate crime and there was a manifesto they were looking at. Beyond that, we're not going to speculate on motives. But it is noteworthy, as you pointed out, that the police took this suspect alive, we believe, outside of the Walmart. Connect those dots for us. What does it say? Well, it tells us that this individual who committed this horrendous act planned this. This was not just an individual getting out of a car or waking up in the morning and deciding that they were going to do what was done. This looks like it was well planned. They uh, obviously, at least in my view, knew uh, uh, an entrance that would jam people up, that would trap people, and more importantly to the police, that individual knew how to get out of there without being detected. Uh, well planned by this individual. Again, getting back to the manifest, we still don't know what the motive is, but the manifest will at the very, very least give police an indication as to what the motive was. And that is critically important as they piece all this together. All right, Fox News alert now. Steve, we'll come back to you with the.